Every day we receive thousands of terrible VHS tapes and DVDs. Some are so fucking weird we don't exactly know what to do with them. That's why the Wheel of the Worst was designed. It's a torture device for the modern age. The wheel is spun three times. Each spin selects a video at random for the group to watch, and then evaluate which video is the best of the worst. It's now time to spin the wheel of the worst! All right, Jack, it looked like you guys were having just a little too much fun on that last Best of the Worst, mm -hmm. uh, Filipino action movies and Undefeatable and all that. And Super great stuff. For some reason, nobody invited me. So I think, I think we need to do a wheel episode now. Okay. So Jack, this is your first time introing the wheel, right? I, I, unless you pull up footage right now of me doing this before, I believe this is my first time. That we've all it. forgotten about. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Uh, well, why don't you tell us what's on the wheel? Okay. First, we have farm safety, family style. 1343. The year that it takes place, perhaps? It's possible. This is the only holdout now from previous wheels. So Ooh, it's a mystery the... tape. Uh, next up, we have let's sing and dance music video. Original contemporary songs dealing with timely messages. Are these the names of the songs? Yeah, yeah, they look like the names of the songs. That's awesome. Don't do drugs, best friends, numbers, don't talk to strangers. These these are very direct titles. They should be a little more artistic with their approach. <laughs> I like how they, there's like bigger concepts, like, you know, be careful when you're outside, um, you know, drugs are bad for you, and one, two, three. And it's just numbers, you know. I think these kids are old enough to know their, their numbers. I don't know. Is there an alphabet song on here too? <laughs> Oh man, speaking of let's sing and dance, rock and learn multiplication rap with what appears to be a elderly white male. <laughs> learn quickly and easily with these cool videos. Oh no, wait. What? Dr. Toy winner, 10 best video products? I wouldn't trust anyone named Dr. Toy. That sounds like a like a guy with a van with tinted windows and tries to lure children in. Yeah. I'm Dr. Toy. Uh, next up, we have uh, Home Alone, a kid's guide to playing it safe when you're on your own. Uh, hosted by Malcolm Jamal Warner of The Cosby Show. Oh, it's my High Tops video. They put out the... Uh, <laughs> Do you remember My Pet Monster? Not at all. The little fuzzy monster with the chains that broke apart? Sure, those were awesome. There was a live action movie and it was produced by High Tops Video. So if that's the kind of quality we're in for. What do you mean this? Actually, that's, uh, that's My Pet Monster. It's grotesque, isn't it? It's disgusting. Where can we get this movie? <laughs> we do I, need a copy. I want to watch that movie. <laughs> it's a joke, right? Okay, we have unique birthday party fun and variety show. This is when you don't want to throw an actual birthday party for your kids. You just sit them in front of the TV and put this on. Professional birthday party entertainment. Guests create their own balloon puppets. Oh shit, we don't have balloons. Let's go get balloons. <laughs> we need balloons for this one. Come on. <laughs> we have condoms. Do we still have condoms? A lot of <laughs> So next up, Rest in peace, we have Y2K Family Survival Guide, hosted by Leonard Nimoy. It's a good thing it wasn't called COPD Survival Guide. Oh, That's in poor taste. <laughs> <laughs> Learn gun safety with Eddie Eagle? Oh my God, hosted by Jason Priestley. Priestley. Priest, Priestley. Jason Priestley. Priestley. Hosted by Jason Priestley, a gun safety video for children. For kids. That's the confusing part. It's. It, I'm assuming Eddie Eagle is animated and he has all these children around him, but... Oh, no. I, that's going to be a guy in an eagle suit, don't you think? Like Ooh, a bad mascot? That would be great. Yeah. Either way, why are we teaching children gun safety? Well, the, the question is, is this like NRA, like, shoot the bad guy? <laughs> or is this like, don't touch a gun ever? 
I, I have a feeling the video will not be encouraging children to shoot anybody, but that's just a guess. What if someone breaks into their house and they have to shoot someone? Well, that's understandable then. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, we have 20th anniversary, Garatol Follies, 1975 to 1995. Geritol. Geritol? What is it? Geritol. Geritol. What did I say? 20th anniversary, Geritol Follies, 1975 to 1995. I, I don't know. This was a mic decision. <laughs> Ass in the buck already. I, yeah. Geritol, America's number one iron and vitamin supplement. It may be amazing. I don't know what's going to happen, but old they got a golf cart and old women in golf carts like that you're asking for a good time. Geritol Follies. So we can only assume there's it's like comedy slash dance routines. I, I don't know what to expect. Other than flashy costumes, I don't know. Old Do women forgetting who their children are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jack, why don't you spin the wheel? Okay, what are we hoping for? Uh, I'm hoping for farm safety family style because at least we know it's short. Sure, I want the multiplication wrap because I need to know my tables. Come on, multiplication wrap. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 it's another oh. song related one, but I don't think there's any rapping. Contemporary songs dealing with timely messages. Let's go learn our numbers. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I'm going to a party oh, right after school. Going to a party. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna sing and dance and have fun. <sighs> I was about to say, where's the music? They're trying to break their own necks. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she's playing the keyboard. The air keyboard. Or she has the palsy. <laughs> Sometimes. Hey, big brothers, thanks for the hand. Your help and your advice. Now it's time to stand on my own. And I really think it's nice to have you there in case I fall. I appreciate your help, but I'm gonna show you. It's not your part. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> you little smirking little bitch. Is she, <laughs> Is she gonna do anything in the song or no. just stand there and smile? She tried to start and then she realized it wasn't her time to come in. <laughs> and then her her mother yelled at her. <laughs> Keep smiling, you little <laughs> one 800 the lost. That that might be a real. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Ask if they can give you one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might get put on a list. <laughs> Fuck! So, Jack. Fuck! How, how do you feel about your first spin on the wheel? I remember why I hated the Wheel of the Worst. Not everything can be SOS. That was a big pile of shit. Yep. But we do have two more spins to hopefully save the evening. Great. Uh, and here we go. Oh, God. Help us. Pew, 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 pew. What's it going to be? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh no, oh, it's the 20th anniversary Geritol Follies. <laughs> I just pray it's not very long. <laughs> Old ladies. Oh no. <laughs> Mike, I blame you for this. This is gonna be this is gonna be the whole show, isn't it? Oh no.
Where's the golf cart? I wanted them to be driving around in a golf cart. <laughs> Maybe they'll drive out on stage in the golf cart. I love the pathetic little light show in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't do anything too exciting. <laughs> they, gotta, they gotta watch their blood pressure. Blink it on. <laughs> Some nice blanket. Put a strobe in there. This is <laughs> paramedics just are gonna have to rush the stage. There's gonna be like 500 paramedics. But they all wear clown outfits. <laughs> Actually, are the... there are there paramedics just off stage? Oh yes. Okay. No, the entire audience is paramedics. <laughs> We've invited a look for Canadian paramedics to the show. Every show we need at least 40 of them. <laughs> Baby, and the poor lady, she has to be stitched. So don't you think we should give her gold wire or silver wire? I'm wearing these gloves because my skin fell off. <laughs> there's, there's also a recruitment booth in front of like the stage because they lose so many performers. <laughs> <laughs> <Each performance. laughs> and each, uh, we're starting off with a song called and a dance called Hooray for Hollywood. But each song that is being sung, we will have a, a, a dance. What's some sort of fire up off the stage? <laughs> the stage just caught on fire. Oh my god, look out! <laughs> That's the light from the other world. <laughs> oh, the, taker. <laughs> the light from the next life is calling me. <laughs> I don't have much time, just to be reckless <laughs> <laughs> Don't have much time. I'm coming, mother. <laughs> oh my god. What? There's a bunch of smoke. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh God, what's it gonna land on? Oh. Learn gun safety with Eddie Eagle. And Jason Priestley. Look at that set. Ooh. That's Jason Priestley's real house. Ah, hello there. You got me just about to preview our new Eagle Eyes safety show. Can you say court ordered? <laughs> Let's see what Eddie's up to now. <laughs> My cell phone, idiot. <laughs> when through the open window of an attic, I spied five or six kids looking all around. Really excited. I saw some little kids. <laughs> I peeked at children through a window. <laughs> oh, Joe, you know, Jay, the kids are going to find a gun. Eddie the sex predator eagle? <laughs> sex predator and gun safety eagle. <laughs> He's a sexual predator, but he also teaches gun safety. I saw a gun. Can't oh, fuck them if they're dead. <laughs> I didn't wait. I knew what to do. That phrase was invented for tonight. Nice, nice, nice tonight. So uh, we watched three tapes, um, unfortunately. The first one we watched was Let's Sing and Dance TM music video, although it's multiple music videos. Uh, Jack? Why did you do that what, to me? What is this? What is this thing? First of all, how can you trademark Let's Sing and Dance? That seems... Well, it's like, doesn't Marvel, don't they have copywritten the term superhero? The term, the term mutant. Who has superhero? DC, Someone, DC, DC has, has superhero. superhero. Yeah. Well, who, who, what company put this out? Marvel. Some dickheads. <laughs> Um, they have the phrase, let's sing and dance. Cards. So if you're ever out at the club yeah. and someone says that, they owe money to this company. I know that. I always say that when I'm out in the club. I'm like, hey, yo, let's sing and dance. And a lawyer comes. And yeah, that, that makes happens. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. They have powerful lawyers. It's like the Church of Scientology. It's true. It's true. Uh, Those guys are crazy, by the way, the Scientologists. Allegedly. They're crazy. Yeah, allegedly. 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 It's yeah. an alleged. Rich is a member of the Church of Scientology. 
No, Rich is a member of the Church of Tollboothology. <laughs> Zenu told me not to talk to you about this anymore. Oh. Or was that uh, was that John Travolta when he was giving you a massage? <laughs> Got magic fingers. <laughs> At least it wasn't Christy Alley. Cursed. <laughs> Cursed. Whatever. Cursed Whatever. Is she a Scientologist? No. no, but she was in Look Who's Talking with John Travolta 25 years ago. <laughs> she, I thought, she's, I thought <laughs> she was a Scientologist. Brain works. Um, I don't know. No, I guess it's possible. She's in Weight Watchers. There's a difference. <laughs> they both require you to buy things. <laughs> She's got to get rid of 180 body thetans. <laughs> Strangers can be tricky. You don't know what they'll do. You better not start singing what what in the butt. <laughs> I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. I said what what in the butt. You want to do it in my butt? Let's sing and dance. Music video dealing contemp uh, original contemporary songs dealing with timely messages. Uh, this is a collection of music videos. I don't know what the equivalent to like Garage Band or like a Casio keyboard that they used to make all these songs, mm. but it was the music was also horribly cheap. Yes. Well, it felt like because the video is full of like 12, 13 year olds, it felt like lyrically the songs were written by those kids. <laughs> Should we just say right up front, this was a miserable night. <laughs> Everything sucked. Yeah, let's get a disclaimer out. Okay, anyway. We're about as miserable as this guy looks. <laughs> looks like he's either taking a dump or has a stomach ulcer. And he's in this video. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I don't even know. This is so terrible. Oh, there's a little bit about the creator. Oh, oh I would love to know more about the creator uh, of this. Carol Cullinan's experiences as a, as a mother led her to create and produce this video cassette collection that will inform and teach children in a fun way. She consulted with early childhood educators, specialists, psychologists, and formula, yeah, right, she did, <laughs> and formulating <laughs> specific factors contributing to effective learning. What do you learn from this? Quote, these are positive products for positive attitudes, and that is something that all parents want for their child. Also known as, she created a scam in 30 minutes to yes. make a bunch of cash. Absolutely. Please don't talk to strangers. They may not be nice. It hits, hit songs. She claims they're hit songs. Yeah. Uh, don't do drugs, don't talk to strangers, best friends, where little girls are eating an ice cream cone and playing with a kitten, going to don't do drugs and wind up a prostitute on the street. The, the age range is all over the map with this well, one. Well, they're, they're hit songs because they had to hit the children to get them to sing in the video. <laughs> well, you, you, can, you can tell, looking at that, that, that ginger boy, that, that he's been abused. <laughs> You're gonna sing in that video! You're gonna sing! The little girl looks too enthusiastic to where oh, she has yeah. one of those, like, um, what's that show with the little girls that have to perform in pageants? Dance moms. Dance moms oh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Where they have one of those kind of parents where you can tell they're just really pushing their kid too much. Yeah. And she's like all smiles. The forced and, phony The uh, forced happiness. phony, yeah, the Disney kid, the Disney kid look where yeah. they're just like, it's too much. The dumb logic behind it. And Don't do drugs. Uh, it might be correct. Uh, is that kids learn better with, you know, Music, and, music and cartoons and stuff like that. So really, the message is don't do drugs, uh, be best friends with somebody. Uh, I can do it myself. I don't even remember that one. <laughs> a couple That's of when they sing into his older brother. Don't talk to strangers, yeah. you know, uh, whatever. And those are fine messages, but they're delivered in a shitty way. The, the idea is infotainment. If you yeah. can give information in an entertaining fashion, it's more likely to stick. To yeah. Well, there's no there's no information. There's no inf entertainment. Right. So instead of calling this infotainment, you should call it.
Well, the, the information you get isn't even accurate. Like, we're talking about just the song title, Don't Talk to Strangers, the whole song, Don't Talk to Strangers. Then after the song, there's a disclaimer, not all strangers are people you don't know. Some are strangers <laughs> that you actually know quite well, so please talk to your children about the misinformation we have given you in the song. <laughs> the whole video starts off with a disclaimer. It says, uh, this is not a substitute for being a parent. Yeah. yeah. There is nothing useful in this video. That's basically the disclaimer is saying this is pointless. Yeah. They might as well have just said that. <laughs> Warning, this is pointless. <laughs> Carol Cullinans was covering her ass. Yes. Oh, I understand completely. <laughs> but does anyone even remember one of these songs? She's a mom yeah. and a lawyer. Lawy <laughs> lawyers wrote, <laughs> Jay, lawyers wrote the disclaimers and the music. Oh, no, it all makes sense. Okay. Does anyone even remember the song, Sing and Dance at the Fun Club? What was that? That's the opening number. <laughs> Look, there's some guy with like chairs. Yeah. They, just, they just filmed in the middle of the street. Oh yeah. Excuse me, homeless person, we're dancing. They've got them out of order on here yeah. then. Oh, they messed up. Somebody fucked they up. They went in order by which ones were, were biggest hits on the Billboard charts. Oh, okay. That was number thousand. It's like the Beatles one album, you know. Yeah. It's okay. similar to that. Okay. Very similar. Oh, which is ironic because Paul McCartney's in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Let me remark. We packed your Ladies and gentlemen, Paul McCartney. <laughs> Wouldn't it be sad to sing Paul McCartney's last performance? <laughs> <laughs> um, we could talk about the general level of talent in the kid singers. Oh, all these kids suck. And tell them all the fun we had. All these kids are drug addicts now. I can guarantee it. These are all like yeah. Hollywood douchebag parents trying to force their yes. kids into shit. Yes. These, all these kids are fucked up now. Mm. Every last one of them. They're all out like at the club doing heroin. They're in all their, out in, in uh, their early 40s. They're all out singing and dancing at the fun club, but the club ain't quite so fun anymore. Yeah, but singing and dancing and fun club are all euphemisms you know, for something <laughs> else. Yeah. I don't know what, but I'm sure they're something else. This video There's sucks. There's not really much to say. There's one angry looking black kid singing, singing the oh, song. Yeah, which I think they dubbed him. Oh yeah, there's the black kid singing. It didn't seem like it was him singing. He was clearly lip syncing for the video. Yeah. And they recorded the audio later, but it didn't seem like it was his voice. Uh, what was that? Don't don't talk. Don't to talk strangers? to strangers. Yeah. He looked very upset to be telling you he to not like talk he to did strangers not want to be in the video. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't, I don't blame him. I, I, I can't blame any of these kids for wanting to be in this video, except <laughs> for the the little brat that was super happy. Yeah. The little yeah. Disney kid. She yeah. was just trying to please her parents. I'm gonna be in TV shows. I'm in the video. I, I mean, all of them bragging to their friends, yeah. like yeah. I was in a video. I'm gonna be a star. And then, I only had to suck three dicks. Right. Oh my God. What? Jack, we're talking about children. You know, I was I was a casual acquaintance with this one guy. I used to go to the yeah, I used to go to the, the local uh, the baseball games, the the minor league baseball games, and there was a guy. Oh, minor had, league baseball games. Yeah, he, he had season ticket seats next to me, and we got we got you know we we're, we were friendly enough, and uh, I, I I went over to his place once just to hang out. He Could this get like, more awkward? <laughs> well, in 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 his room hanging up is a picture of him as a child in a Wendy's ad, and it's like framed and on his wall. Like he was still proud of it. Yes. Okay, that's every like, kid in this video. You're you're an old man now. Take that take that picture of you in a Wendy's ad from 1991 <laughs> off of the fucking wall. But the real question is, how did you end up in his bedroom? <laughs> it was well, it was just, it was just, it was just to show me his place. It was like, come on, come on around, see this. That's how they get you. That's why you don't talk to strangers, Rich. You, you needed this video. Did he try to sell you Amway? <laughs> <laughs> or did he did he try to put his finger in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? Did he turn on Huey Lewis in the news and put on a poncho? <laughs> he showed me his Warhammer figurines. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
Did he take his balls out? His, <laughs> his baseballs. Because you guys are, are avid fans of minor league baseball. Did he take his warhammer out? Guy, he said he has two big ones. I hate you so much. He wants to show, I hate you. He wants to show you his, his, his minor league bat and balls. Rich, he started to tell a story about a guy inviting you over to his house and you going into his bedroom. You had to have known after this was going to happen. After you guys both shared a foot long at the baseball game. <laughs> I mean... You didn't have to add Lady in the Tramp style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. He said, put, put this wiener in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you want to share a wiener, is what he said. And Rich said, okay. And then, it's back in my place. I want, I, want, I want to show you my Wendy's ad. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we can be done. <laughs> Picturing this kid's like like uh, a helicopter mom next to him, him or her. Yeah. Keep smiling. Oh yeah. sure. You're gonna make us a fortune, you little brat. <laughs> People can't tell your gender, but you're gonna be a star. <laughs> well, what's her yeah. name? Carol Kulina. I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you're dead at this point because oh. she's pretty old. She looks pretty old here. I didn't say I hope she dies. I said I hope she's dead by now. Okay, there's, a, there's difference. a difference. There is a difference. So after we watched Let's Sing and Dance, uh, we watched this. We watched all of this. Why? The, the 20th anniversary of Jared Ol Follies. Mike. I suppose I get this one. Mike, this is all your fault. We <sighs> watched the whole thing, by yeah, the it way. Was, it was two hours long. It's the 20th anniversary spectacular of the Jared Ol Follies, which is now, from what I'm told, called the Hamilton Follies. This is a real this, thing. Yeah, this is a real thing and it's still going on. It okay. started in 1975 in Canada, in Hamilton, Ontario, which is outside of Toronto. Um, an elderly woman uh, in 1975, her name is Chris, Christine Hamilton. I think it's the old Mrs. Doubtfire lady in the, in the yeah. Oh, sure, video. that makes sense. Uh, is she was at a senior YMCA and she, she decided to start a fun choir and light comedy review with elderly people to give them something to do, an activity. And they actually say light comedy on there? Yeah. That's completely appropriate then. Well, That's it, impressive. It really should say racist comedy review. Well. At that age is what you get. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. Speaking of racists. Now this shit don't fly in 2015, Grandpa. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it was a, a, a small project for elderly people at, at the Y, and then um, uh, it grew. It became popular, I'm sure it, it became It became a worldwide phenomenon. A Canada-wide phenomenon. And in 1995, it celebrated its 20th anniversary, and in 2015, we watched its 20th anniversary for two hours. Yes. Which consisted of elderly people singing, hundreds of elderly people on stage. I can only imagine what the theater smelled like. <laughs> this video depleted all of our elderly jokes in the first half hour, and then we were left with nothing. We were out of elderly jokes before this started. Yeah. <laughs> it's like there's that checklist of like, okay, they're old, uh, one of them's gonna die on stage, oh, one of them's gonna shit in their pants. Uh, so many diaper jokes. Lots so of diaper jokes. jokes. And then, you know, you can only do so much. And the funny part, is is that our elderly jokes started to get old. Thanks, thanks really. <laughs> that was great. Thanks. That was that was good. That's the, thank, thank you, thank you. A new spin on the elderly joke, joking about the joke. Joking about the elderly jokes, yeah.
getting very meta, and I like that. Yeah, well, you know, we got to do something. <laughs> yeah, got to do something to save this episode. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's going great. Although this will get really fucking old, even for the audience, the live audience, if they all they do is just stand here and sing. Yeah, they can't do this. Yeah, for an and and There's plus, be some variety. I'm sure half of them have already pissed their pants. <laughs> Like, they're gonna have to take a bathroom break. That's true. Point. No, they don't. They have depends for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Something really important to keep in mind is when wearing depends, let a little bit out at a time. You can't just full gush out. Oh, oh sure. It can't take the sudden evacuation. Just just let it let it go as it happens. Yeah, every now and then you'll see a depends fall down from under a dress. <laughs> oh, 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 God. It gets too full. Oh. That's why the dresses are so long. <laughs> yeah, elderly people doing mild movements and very safe, boring music. Yes. That's what this was. Um, hosted by Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Well, and do the corset, sit back and enjoy it because we are here to entertain you and we're going to have fun up here and you're going to have fun out there. Which we think, because this was somewhat popular, we think that Robin Williams based his performance in Mrs. Doubtfire on the host of this program. The, the look, the accent, the, yes. the weird comedy quips. I, I believe she was a stand-up comedian. That whole attitude. They came back about midnight and she says, oh, did you have a good time? How did it go? And the mother said, I had to slap his face six times. It's entirely possible that we're not just fucking around and this is true. It, it's, it, it would be too much of a coincidence. She doesn't even have to have been super well known. Robin William just needs to have seen this woman once. Yeah. Maybe we could do some research and find this out. You know, maybe it's on IMDb or maybe. something, you yeah. know? As of right now, we are completely pulling this out of our ass. Yes, it's a complete theory right now, but it's possible. So we're going to look it up. We will We will look into this. And uh, we're going to post our findings right here on the screen. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that one looked like an Ewok. <laughs> So, Rich, what was your favorite part of geri Geriatric Follies? Uh, when it ended. <laughs> Past the threshold of madness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hope a grandma stripper pops out. <laughs> just like <laughs> Grandma stripper. Oh, it's gonna go. <laughs> The sparklers just went out. <laughs> <laughs> the old people couldn't light the sparklers fast enough. Oh, that was her entrance. Oh, it's her. Okay. She didn't pop out. She just stepped out from behind it. It's the best they can do. <laughs> and, oh, God. It was just way too long. It was two hours long. Yeah. It was two hours of old people shuffling around. And we watched the whole thing. And we watched thing. the whole thing. Well, okay, inter, uh, interspersed in there was also horribly racist uh, humor. Once I saw the teepee. Yeah, and the Indian men come out. Yeah. They're, they're old. You just let them do it. That's what, yeah, right. exactly. All of those people are dead. Within, within five years, they won't be racist anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah, when someone's 90 and they're yeah. saying racist things, you can't like you try and change them. You know, just let them die. Just let them die. You don't, you don't, you don't educate grandma on the plight of the Native American. You just don't bother. Yeah. Yeah. Especially uh, Canada grandma. She don't know shit about that. <laughs> about Native Americans, probably. Yeah, Canada didn't have natives. They didn't. Oh, good. It's over. Uh, Saved by the bell. No, that was the last for you. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ on a cross. <laughs> Nailed it. Christ died for this? <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. It. No, <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. That was the... Oh. We've had this band for, with us for quite a long time, but um, we're going to let them play their kind of music, and this number is called Don't Get Around Much. <laughs> 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 Kind of no, no, it's a lesbian. 
with a saxophone? That's the only time she puts something in her mouth. At least if she's a lesbian, she can't get AIDS. Oh. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. She'll never have children. <laughs> she cannot have children if she's a, a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> well, can can we deconstruct the uh, the flasher scene? Oh, where God. where uh, the uh, Mrs. Dalfair is like, well, our ladies need some titillation too. Yeah. And then like four or five elderly men come out in like flasher trench coats and yes. they're like shuffling around and then they there's a little routine. First they, they go like this. This is when they're walking, right? Yeah. Like I got it down. They go. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And then they all get in a circle and they expose themselves to each other, right, which yes. was weird. Which was weird. And then they pair off in, in pairs and then they start touching each other or something. They, they start One dancing, of them, slow yeah. dancing. Slow dancing, yeah. Just, and then is that what they then were someone's shorts fell off. But anyway, the, well, the question is whether whether or not that was planned. Yeah. Well, it only happened to one of them. Yes. That's what's weird about it. Well, anyway, the, the ending was... This depends got too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so the old men finally open up their trench coats to reveal that they're wearing t-shirts with a print of like a lingerie, like a... Yes. A, Ladies lingerie, which, which, which makes no sense. Makes no, no sense, yeah. yeah. I, I expected more from amateur elderly people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? It's Lily hell? Tomlin. <laughs> it's like a 120 year old Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the guy whose mustache fell off? He almost had a. <laughs> <laughs> he almost had a heart attack going to put it back on. Yeah, he looked really distressed. <laughs> he looked really upset. Oh god, my mustache fell off! <laughs> he was getting flop sweat. <laughs> he was getting <laughs> flop sweat. Oh no, the, the, the racist Greek dance <laughs> is turning out the way we planned. Well, the one who had flop sweat was the sailor. It was either flop sweat or Parkinson's. <laughs> oh. He had a medical condition. That was. He was either very, very nervous or had a medical problem. Yeah. He'd never been in a, with an audience that large before. There was 20 old people in that audience. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he was really nervous. Could be. But yeah, uh, in all seriousness, uh, yeah, we were never meant to watch this. Right. Uh, and then, and it's, an, it's a lovely thing that they did, that this lady started for elderly people to do in their free time. Yeah, you know, come on. You know, all, she couldn't have expected that 30 years later, yeah. a bunch of assholes would be laughing at old people's underwear falling down. Yeah, it's it's a nice thing. They're, they're they're elderly people. They're very old. They get to do something active. They get to perform. What? You're looking at me like I'm a monster for saying this. <laughs> I look at you. I'm looking at you because you're like you're a monster because you're saying normal and decent things, which I don't expect well, from you. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. We'll examine the full spectrum of our videos, you yeah. know, and the positive. Like it's not meant to be entertainment. It's meant to be like a nice thing that the the elderly people do to make themselves feel good, and people patronize them by their family members go and watch it and clap, and really they're not impressing anyone with their singing and dancing skills. Right. They're there. It's there to make them feel good. It's like a children's, a children's, um, you know, talent. A, a lot about this feels like a like a yeah. children's yeah. Uh, uh, recital. You don't you don't go to a children's recital to see like Broadway quality singing and dancing. You, you yeah. go there to patronize them. To you know, and that's what this is. It's a nice it's a nice bookend to your life. You know, you start off with the fourth grade recital and then you <laughs> you end with the recital. With the four hundredth grade. The four hundredth grade recital. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> it's over. <sighs> it's over. <laughs> like the minute the show ended, that's like the sound you can hear in the auditorium. <laughs> oh, I've been holding that in. <laughs> they told me I couldn't poop on stage. Oh, God. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, my. That was a big one. Oh, you just broke that tape's hip.
really. I don't know. This is, that's, it's fine. Old jokes, they never get old. Mm. So our final tape of the night. Uh, Learn Gun Safety with Eddie Eagle, hosted by Jason Priestley. This was a great video. It Rich, was seven minutes. It was seven minutes long. Rich, what happens? Uh, this is Learn Gun Safety with Eddie Eagle, hosted by Jason Priestley. That's that's really all there is that's to the video. Yeah. The Jason Priestley, he's in a he's in a, a set room. That's a set. It was a hip room. It was a hip '90s room. Skewed yeah. windows, harsh shadow. Yeah. And you know, just out of camera, there was some guy ready at any moment to break into the old school rap. <laughs> What's about to happen? Yo, yo's, we're hip. We're down with that safety guns. <laughs> down with the safety guns? Yeah. And then he tells the kid about his good friend, Eddie Eagle. Who, who, who is who? Eddie the Eagle? What's his he, backstory? He's an eagle that was born out of an egg. And then he flies, he learned to flies, and then he peeps on children. <laughs> And sometimes he really have, likes to look into the windows just, of small children. Yeah, yeah, randomly. And then sometimes he happens to see them with a gun. And when he sees them with a gun, not sometimes. Every window he looks in, I assume that the sometimes kids have guns. I assume that sometimes he sees kids without guns. We just don't see that in the video. We just don't see that in the video. Okay, fair enough. I just want to know about all the times he looked in the window too late. There's like a kid with a dead body <laughs> and a gun next to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man, what do I do? I'm at another window. Go to a different window! Maybe the kid's still alive! <sighs> Eddie, what's wrong? <laughs> I fucked up, man! I fucked up, man! <laughs> what am I gonna do, Jason Priestley? I hurried back to town to the neighborhood school to give a little speech on gun safety rules. Then I stopped by the park where the little kids play, and I said, Do you remember what I taught you yesterday? No. <laughs> Who are you? Is she cross-eyed? That's why they don't want her to have a gun. <laughs> She's a terrible shot. <laughs> so a cartoon bird flies around and looks in the windows of cartoon children to try and save them from firing a very realistic looking gun. Yes. That's the thing is like, when it comes down to the, to the information, the kids are drawn goofy, the, the bird obviously doesn't look like a real bird, it's a cartoon bird, but when they show that gun, mm -hmm. it's realistic looking. And I think that's effective, that's the you, point. You wanna make sure kids know, yeah. like guns are no cartoon business. Yeah, and that's when, it, it, it's almost like creepy. It's a little weird, mm -hmm. you know? Do we need a, a video? Teaching kids not to play with a gun? Well, here's, here's is, a... is there a video for teaching kids not to do anything that's dangerous? <laughs> I mean, are, I don't know, statistically, are child gun accidents that rampant to- Not anymore, thanks to Eddie Eagle. Well, I, I guess so. But I mean, like, comparatively, like a child vacuum cleaner accident, a child <laughs> getting hit by a car. Sure. Uh, there, uh, you know, a child uh, t playing with a butcher knife, child drinking poison. Sure. I mean, I'm sure there's millions of ways kids could accidentally kill themselves. Well, there's multiple Eddie Eagle videos. <laughs> one, for each, <laughs> one for each thing. Look out for those steamrollers. Don't drink bleach. Don't drink bleach. Don't run with knives. Run with the yeah. All, every video is between five and a seven minutes. A kid could fall out a window. Yeah. A lot of kids fall out windows, out of windows. The only difference is only one of these things is literally built to kill humans. Everything else has some other purpose, where it's like, you That's know, true, yeah. ble bleach in your house, you need that to clean stuff, yeah. right? Fall out, you, we need windows to get air and light. Oh, we, we learned about what causes falling out of windows from our first video. Now he might say that he can fly. You might fly right out a window. Well, that's the interesting thing about this is they, the, this, what is they keep, stop, stop don't, don't touch it. Touch. Stop, don't touch. Yeah. What are the, chore what's the choreography? Stop, stop don't, don't touch. touch. Okay. Leave the area. Stop. Leave the area, tell an adult. Yeah, stop, don't early touch. early version of the Macarena. Okay, say stop, don't touch, go tell an adult. Don't but touch. chances are the adult you're gonna tell is the owner of the gun, so they know the gun's there already. Well, the, for the funny thing is, is they say, go tell an adult that you know. Yeah. Right. Not go, hey, mister, mister, I found a gun. <laughs> don't kill yeah. that. <laughs> you know, that. That's a whole nother Eddie Eagle video, you know? <laughs> Yeah. They just recycled the the no masturbation song. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Don't, don't touch. Don't touch. 
Although, go, go, tell, tell adults. go tell an adult's probably not. You shouldn't do that. They cut that off. They, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm Eddie Eagle, and I like you so much. Please be safe. Go away, it's a must. Go find an adult, someone you can trust. Go tell an adult. Don't hang around. Tell him what you saw. Tell him what you found. Stop. Don't touch. Leave the area. Tell an adult. Yeah, stop. Is this gun control, or is this like an anti-masturbation song? <laughs> <laughs> Same song for two different videos. Yeah. Stop! Don't touch! Don't touch. <laughs> I like you so much! <laughs> don't tell an adult! <laughs> and his next song is Don't Tell an Adult, adult That I Touch. <laughs> <laughs> Take a cold shower! <laughs> yeah, that's well, more likely. It was, it was produced by Nambla, that one. <laughs> you and your Nambla. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Ever since you got that card, you know, <laughs> and became a member, you all you talk about is Nambla. Uh, he's trying to convert. That the weird thing is, this is produced by the National Rifle Association. Yeah. That's that's a very important point. Yeah. yeah. And so, whereas we, this one, the music video for Let's Sing and Dance, I theorized that it was like grant. They were exploiting grant money. I think that this, that You Can Learn Gun Safety was kind of a... Uh, Don't blame us. Yeah. No, we're trying yeah, to educate yeah. children, even though it's seven minutes of Jason Priestley talking on a phone to a cartoon eagle. <laughs> it's PR. Yeah. The, yeah. the only question yeah. is, did Jason Priestley have DUI, or is he just a fan of the NRA? <laughs> Well, it could be either or. Oh, I'm sure they they had a huge check for him. But yeah. why Jason Priestley of all people? You know, because he's the first one that said yes. They had a list of people <laughs> they called one after the other, and he said, "Okay." And he was popular at the time. What is this? Ninety three. Ninety three. Was was, was, was Charlton Heston like? Yeah. I don't want to be in no fucking eagle video. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to a cartoon. Am I shooting the eagle? <laughs> <laughs> they put Charl then, Charlton Joe. Heston in there to look kids. That grandpa's scary. <laughs> 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 Don't call me unless I'm shooting an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> that's my child in Hesh. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah pretty that's good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy with yeah. that. Yeah. Because it's produced by the NRA. Like, if, it, if this was a court-ordered thing, this would just be a rinky-dink production company slapped together. Oh, yeah. sure. Because this is produced by the NRA, this is a paycheck for Jason Priestley. Mm. Or a passion project. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's a gun nut. Maybe he invented Eddie Eagle. We don't know. What if Jason Priestley was the, the, the birth of Eddie Eagle? I, I guess it's possible, Jay. I just don't see him as the creative type. The, the birth of Eddie Eagle and the death of his career. Oh, oh it's true. He only did the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm too much. Uh, all right. I don't, even, I don't even remember if he was Beverly Hills 90210 or 21 Jump Street, which... 21 Jump Street was like 10 years earlier. Yeah. I, I, that was, um, that was, Johnny, that was Johnny Depp, yeah. yeah. And Richard Greco. Okay. okay. Greco. Richard... Greco. 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 Sure. Greco. Wasn't Tom DeLuise's kid in that too? Yes. Yeah. He was, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just that small actor that was in everything. Because <laughs> he's Tom DeLuise's kid. Yep. <laughs> he never got as big as his father. I just got them coming out my ass tonight. <laughs> it's a good thing you're wearing Depends. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, uh, Let's Sing and Dance music video, uh, Old People Shuffling, and Eddie Eagle. Uh, Rich, what is the best of the worst? Eddie Eagle is seven minutes long, and it's got a fun cartoon. <laughs> Mike? Oh, that was brief. Um, <laughs> uh, I think the, the, uh, this, this is a, a very muddled message in terms of teaching kids things. Very muddled. Very straightforward. Very useful. Um, I'm, I'm going with Geritol Follies as the best of the worst because boy, oh boy, so many old folks singing and dancing their hearts out, <laughs> and I loved it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which one would you rather watch again? You would want to watch this again? If it was on in the background and I was doing something else. <laughs> I guess if you look at it like that, this is the most honest. Like as far as what it is, like this is old people. They're they're. You Jack, know. this is NRA propaganda, and yeah. this is <laughs> this is uh, Carol Kunlis, uh fucking scam video. Yeah. So, 
Two Mrs. hours. That's two the thing. hours of Mrs. old people. Mrs. Doubtfire cares about elderly people. For yeah. two hours. Yeah. I don't care. Mrs. Doubtfire cares about elderly people because she is yeah. elderly people. She puts on a big old production. <laughs> and she they all put their heart and souls That's into it. That's crazy. And God bless them. You're, cra you're mayor of crazy town. I, I agree with that sentiment. I never, ever, ever want to see this again. I could sit through either of these again before watching this again. This, this one has think, heart, this one is honest, but I, I gotta go with the Eddie Eagle just because it was the shortest. Uh, it has that, that like uh, uh, kitsch value of the early 90s, the, you know, the set decoration that J Jason Priestley is on and the cartoon eagle is fun uh, and it's super short. I, I, I guess I'm going off key here. Um, be, my best of the worst is let's sing and dance music video. Oh no. Really? Really. B uh, Bad kid singing, uh, bad kid dancing, uh, <laughs> cheesy songs, but more, most importantly, those sweet ass neon graphics. Man, I love me some star wipes. <laughs> and this had the best star wipe ever. It was a morph star wipe. <laughs> so you're into it for more for the production quality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yes. high production value of Let's Sing and Dance. The incredibly <laughs> cheesy pro I want to rewatch that again just so I can try to remake some of those graphics. Mm. Okay. So. Well, I guess Eddie Eagle wins because that's two and yeah. Yeah. one and one. Um, and these got votes, so uh, I don't think we're destroying anything tonight. No. I know everyone probably wants to bust Jarrett. Well, oh, we, yeah, you can't decide that for us. Does anyone? No, it's a got a positive vote. We don't destroy anything that got a positive. That's what that ever has that happened? ever been established? No, we, we could, just, we could we've destroyed things destroy. that have gotten positive votes yeah, before. Yeah, you're Never. making this up. You're, you're making that up.